Hi, my name is Julio Zarello. I'm from Gourmand Provador and we're based at Sydney Markets. So the ghost chili is an incredible little creature. It's very, very hot and the best way I've found by using it is to um, incorporate that whole into dishes so you get some nice flavour out of there. The oils are extracted but you never end up eating the chili. It is a skyrocket of a chili, so great for flavours, great to make pastes and sauces out of, but use very, very sparingly. I've done a couple of things with ghost chilies. One of my favourites is actually to make a sambal. So to make a sambal with garlic and onions and some of the ghost chilies, I also put in some red chilies in there as well, some little firecrackers um, and some long red chilies as well. Now, once I've reduced that into a nice paste, it's a great flavour as a dipping sauce and it's a great flavour through some stir fries, especially with nice uh, prawns, one of my favourites. I don't think people do realise how hot a, a ghost chilli is. Um, I've seen people try to uh, take a bite out of it. There's a lot of power in one of those ghost chilies, so it's use sparingly, you know. Don't, uh, don't overdo it. It's not something that you want to just slice into a stir fry. It's not something you just want to slice into and put your uh, soy sauce in for a dipping sauce. You need to work with it. I love celeriac. Celeriac is such a versatile vegetable. I don't think we use half as much celeriac as we should as chefs. Um, a celeriac is multi-purpose. We can peel, slice and, and boil that up and turn it into a fantastic puree with some cream and garlic. Or we could uh, thinly shave it, toss it through a salad. Um, we can make celeriac chips out of it, nice as a roast or a deep fried chip. It's a, it's a wonderful flavour. It's a smooth, subtle celery flavour and uh, it goes so, so well with seafood and meats alike. I think the misunderstanding with celeriac is the fact that people only see it as a soup vegetable and it's far from just a soup vegetable. In fact, we've made a fantastic sweet celeriac pie from the, uh, from the flesh of the celeriac as well. People do just use it as soup. Um, but as a roast vegetable, it's superb. As a puree, it's fantastic. Even if you'd mix it with a little bit of potato as well, just to have both of those starches together, subtle, uh, the, potato, the potato would be a little bit more subtle, and so with the celery egg. Brought to you by Cookers, the future of cooking oils.